Good morning, everybody. Today I am going to be doing my skincare routine update, which I've been telling you guys that I'll be doing for so long. So it's a beautiful morning, and I've got Tweety on my hand, and I'll just be running you through exactly what I'm doing. With Tweety on my shoulder, my updated morning and night skincare routine. Stick around till the end for my nighttime skincare routine, which is a little bit different. This is what I use in the mornings at the moment. So starting off with my seaweed deep cleansing facial wash by The Body Shop, which you guys know I've been using for ages. I'm using the Hera Cell Essence first on a cotton pad and just going to gently rub it all over my face. And this is what I've been using for about a year now. Actually, I've been using Hera for like six years, but I think this cell essence wasn't around back then. So I basically rub it all over my face gently and then pat it in as you guys know that I do. And I don't neglect my neck area as well. Next, I go in with another watery essence. This is the Sum 37 Secret Essence, which you guys might have seen on my Instagram. And it really smooths out my skin and it works, I think, for me better than the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. You'll have to excuse me putting in so much of Tweety in this video, but I'm just a little bit obsessed with him right now, so you'll just have to pass over. <laughs> so as you can see, I go from lightest to heaviest in terms of product on my skin, and that's generally the rule of thumb that you want to go with, Tweety's board. And I'm just using the Belief Hydra Balancing uh, something something, I can't memorize the names of them. Then I'm using the Belief Moisturizing, he's such a good voiceover, and Firming Eye Cream around my eye area. And I love this eye cream, guys. This is probably the best eye cream, my favorite ultimate from all of the ones that I've ever used. It's really moisturizing without being too overly heavy or moisturizing. It glides on very smoothly and it also doesn't smell obtrusively. Does that even make sense? Okay, moving on. So that's it. I just go in with my sunscreen straight away and I use either the Shiseido one or the Belief one. I tend to go towards the Shiseido a little bit more because it's lighter and less greasier. And yeah, in the mornings I don't put on that much, especially if I've got makeup going on straight afterwards because I've got more of the oilier type of skin type. How cute is Tweety? <laughs> Anyway, especially after moving to Korea for some reason. But anyways, that's it for my morning skincare routine and moving on to my nighttime. So just a glimpse of my actual table where I've got all of my skincare products. So I kind of do experiment and yes, hello different Jennifer. This was filmed the night before I changed my hair color. So I kind of missed this gold guys, but most of you preferred my darker. So I'm still not sure and I'm lagging behind again. So I'm taking off my eye makeup using the Mamund eye makeup remover and it's a little bit, it kind of does hurt my eyeballs a little bit. So as you can see, I'm kind of wincing. I try my best not to get it into my eyes and try not to rub my eyes too much. And the days that I don't even have mascara on, I just go in with a makeup wipe instead of doing this because I think it's bad for your eyes in the long term. So just showing you what cotton pad I use, I use these five layered Misha ones which are pretty good and good for multi-use, especially if you do facial masks as well. I also go in from underneath my lashes because that's the way that the mascara goes on, so don't neglect that area. And also go in with a cotton bud and really really carefully just clean up the area in case I missed any places. So although I kind of don't like the Mamund at the moment, it's because I bought it so I don't want to waste it. I'm using it all up and I probably will go back to my L'Oreal which is my ultimate favorite for many years. And now it's time to show you guys my cleansing routine so let's move to the bathroom. I usually put on like a headband or something to keep my hair out of my face and I've been loving this Tatcha cleansing oil guys. If you haven't used a cleansing oil and you're looking for a good one, definitely try this or the Bobbi Brown cleansing oil which is also pretty good. I don't know why but I don't like the Shu Umura one that much. I've got a whole huge tub of it but anyways, I think it's personal choice as well depending on your skin type. Using this seaweed deep cleansing facial wash again from the body shop and I've been using this literally for like forever. <laughs> ever since I worked at the body shop for many years. Then I go in with this rice enzyme powder by Tatcha, which is kind of finicky to work with because you have to mix the powder in with water and then rub it together to create this foam. But sometimes it doesn't foam up, so you kind of just lose the product. You have to really get the perfect balance, but once you do, it cleanses so well and it just feels so clean and it brightens your skin tone as well. Again, Sarah Hera, <laughs> Hera Hell Essence, no, Hera Cell Essence again on my skin, that was horrible. And I practically use this as a toner, 
Then I go in again with the Sum 37, which I use in the mornings as well. I didn't get enough time to talk about it before because the voiceover time was so short, but it really smooths out the pores and makes your skin smoother. I can literally feel the difference when I've used this and I haven't. It's fermented and it's made with really quality ingredients. So I recommend you guys, if you don't use an essence before moisturizer or lotion, do invest in one because it makes a huge difference in how the rest of your skincare routine sort of works for you. Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair is something I've recently come back to again. I don't know if you guys remember, but my very, very first skincare routine video, I talked about this product and I was like saying I probably wouldn't buy it again because I don't really feel like I haven't got wrinkles yet and stuff. But now I'm starting to feel like I need to go back to it. So <laughs> um, Then I go in with my eye cream, the Belief one again, and just gently pat it into my eye area, focusing on the areas where my makeup goes and also my laugh lines, which I don't have any yet. Thank God, but prevention is key. I add in just one more step at night and it's between these two products depending on my skin. The Problem Solution Green Essence is what I use for when I've got breakouts or I'm during that time of the month. And otherwise I just go in with the Hungarian Water Essence Moisture Binder which I've told you guys I love in the past. It's a really sort of smooth and silky product that adds moisture and it's got jasmine extract and it smells lovely. And finally, my last step is the Sun White Award Cream, which is amazing. Seriously, this is the bomb cream ever. Um, especially good for those who are feeling like they've got moisture loss and they want to rapidly put it back in. Almost like a sleeping pack. If you put enough of this on, it seriously feels like a sleeping pack and you wake up with your skin completely rejuvenated. Actually, I haven't finished. I do sometimes end with the Biotherm Night Therapy Oil and of course my new skin face mist, which I just cannot live without these days. I use it for my hair as well because I feel like my hair needs a little bit of moisture and I actually use this throughout the day to give myself a moisture boost whenever I feel like I need it. I know it ain't a hair routine, but I thought I'd throw this in. It's the Kerastase Little Oil. Look how tiny this sample is. My hairdresser gave this to me and I love it. I think I'll buy the full product. It really leaves my hair feeling so silky and you know at the end of a hair salon visit how your hair just looks so silky and sleek. This is the product that will give you that look. So I like adding this in during the night time and I just finish off with a bit of hand cream. And this hand cream is the L'Occitane Shea Butter one, 50% Shea Butter that I've been using for many years as well. So woohoo, I finally updated you guys with my current night and morning skincare routine and also what I use on my hair and my hands. I'm so ready to sleep, look how sleepy my eyes are. So hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to go to bed now. This is basically what I always do. What do you guys usually do before sleeping? Let me know in the comments below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and good night or good morning wherever you are. Bye! Tame to bye all!